Well, it's tune day. Let's go get this done. All right, I wish I could have filmed that and I couldn't really be there myself, but um, I just picked the car up from the tune up and um, I'm really, really happy. He is really happy with the tune. He's tuned it according to the way the car is with stock, everything else. Um, he's photocopied the dyno sheet for me. Um, he actually got up to 270 kilowatts, um, but in reality, you can actually see that line there. It's quite faint, but it shoots right up here. And then that's the, I think this is the one that we're running with um, here. So that's, the gearbox isn't happy, which we thought he's tuned it as best as he could, um, but that's when it hits full pressure, 100% pressure, and it just really starts to shoot up. So there's a bit of slippage going on here in the mid range, but you can't really feel it when you're driving. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So around 250 kilowatts, um, which is a nice safe, nice safe tune. He's got it running a little bit of rich to help keep it cool. Um, you've got to remember we're running standard non-turbo pistons and stuff like that. So standard gearbox, standard diff. I'm going to have to do something with this gearbox. I'm going to try doing the um, solenoid delete, like you delete two and, sorry, three and four. So it gives it um, full pressure. There's a little bit of a mod that you can do there. Um, but I have taken it for a spin and um, the thing is awesome. It just pulls really hard compared to what it was like. It's no 10 second drag car, but it goes really good. So let's, uh, let's just uh, go for a drive and see what happens. So he's basically tuned it so I can drive it as normal. He's happy for me to tow with it. He said it's a really good tune for a tow. Um, he said it's got a lot of mid-range in there. Um, and really, like he said, when you're pulling 6,000 RPM in your daily driver. So um, the tune is, uh, it's a good tune for, yeah, he's really happy. He was stoked. And this guy tunes a lot of high performance stuff. This is, um, this is the bottom end of the stuff that he tunes. So it's set up, he told me it's set up around sort of seven and a half PSI boost. Um, he's pretty happy with that. He said it should run fine on that. He um, also really liked the way I'd set the car up. So I mean, it's standard, so he, there's not much not to like, I guess. Um, but he said everything works, exhaust is good. Um, everything worked good. So. So there you go, to the tune of Rosella's up in the tree over behind me. Um, let's summarize what we did and what we got to, I guess. I'm no bird expert, they're probably parrots or galahs, I don't know. They're multi-coloured looking things that make a lot of noise in one of the trees. Anyway, back to the car, standard BF2 NA Barra powered Ute XL Ute fog stock model four speed BTR 250 kilowatts or 340 horsepower with a complete factory BABF turbo intake setup, factory um, Garrett GT3582R with a new core. Um, GFB, you can see it down there, turbo pressure regulator, turbo four pound fuel regulator, two bar map sensor. Um, I can confirm that we ran the standard, check out my Zupa Dupa, I'm celebrating, um, standard uh, injectors, we didn't need to change those, and standard fuel pump, we didn't need to change that. Um, as I had researched, so that's really cool. Factory intercooler um, and an external in there under the grill. Not even see it better here. Can we see it? Just yet. Oil cooler for the transmission, which makes a massive difference. And that's pretty much it. It works. It works good. Don't be scared to do it. Just make sure your tuner knows what they're doing. Um, this guy did and he's done a great job and hopefully we will be running 
um, this kind of boost for a long time. And um, in the meantime, I'm going to build myself a completely independent uh, engine, running gear and everything for this thing so I can get some decent horsepower. I want to build a motor that's capable of a thousand and then obviously it's going to be limited to my budget as far as transmission, diff, ECU and all that sort of stuff. So it's that part of it that gets expensive. The engine itself isn't an expensive thing to do to get that sort of horsepower. But I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope um, you're inspired and yeah, don't be scared to do it. It's all about your tuner, I think. If your tuner knows what they're doing, there's nothing wrong with doing it this way if you do it safely um so yeah i hope you liked it so it's for me i'm pretty stoked i'm gonna go and grab another super duper and um go for another drive so anyway stay tuned be good to your mates and i'll catch you on the next one cheers am i happy i'm really happy it's where i expected it to be and it worked i've got to be happy with that but we're going to definitely go for bigger horsepower make no mistake